So in this video, I want to just go over the best ways to get around not having a wide angle lens and how you can do real estate photography with a 24 millimeter lens. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Wes back again with another video. So in this video, I have a little bit of a funny story. So if you saw my last video, you saw that I made a video on the best ways to get real estate photography clients. And I mentioned in the video, um, I was so hype about making the video because it was a cold call that I made last year, which led a client to calling me last week. She called me on, I believe it was a Monday. I went out and did the job on a Thursday. But before I did the job, she gives me a call. She says that she wants me to come. I take the call. Now, mind you, I didn't exactly have the gear or at least the lens to do the job. Now, if you go back into my channel, you see that I made a review on the Sigma 14 to 24, which that is a beautiful, beautiful lens, especially for real estate. Really, the, uh, the 14 was a little bit on the wider end. You know, 16 is good, but like I said, I really wasn't too interested in, um, if you watch that video, in the Tamron 17 to 28 because I was like, ah, 17, it's not wide enough, you know, even though the Sigma costs more, you know, I would rather have that if I was going to buy one because I at least want 15, 16, just being limited to 17, I felt wasn't good enough. But when this lady called me up and told me that she had this job for me, I don't, I didn't own a real estate lens at the time because I actually bought the Tamron before and I returned it. And that's why I rented the Sigma. So I was like, dang, um, you know, of course I didn't tell her all of that. I was like, I need to get a lens. So I went ahead and just bought the Tamron lens because I'm like, you know what? I need a real estate lens. I want to really get in back into doing real estate photography on the regular. And when someone hits me up, I don't want to have to worry about renting the lens and trying to find the lens and doing all the stuff with the lens. So let me just go ahead and buy the Tamron. So mind you, it's currently Tuesday the 5th and I did the job last week, Thursday. And here is the lens I bought from Amazon, still unopened. And if you don't believe me, I open this up. I'll actually unbox this on camera because I have not even opened it. Well, it's actually the bottom. Boom. As you can see, brand new lens right there, unopened. It's amazing. I, ne I needed you like a week ago, but whatever. When I bought the lens, they told me that the lens was gonna be here on Wednesday, right? Last week, Wednesday. So I'm like, all right, bet, you know, I have a, as long as it comes, you know, a day before, I'll be good, right? So I had noticed that when I ordered it, um, I didn't see, get any notification that it was shipped, out for delivery, nothing. It's Wednesday night, and I'm just like, you know, how are they still saying that it's gonna be delivered today, but it's not even showing that it's shipped? So eventually, like Wednesday, like around like midnight, we well, might as well say Thursday, I got an email that said, hey, like, you know, your order is, it was held up. It's actually gonna come tomorrow, which was the same day as the shoot. So I'm just like, damn, that's, that's, that's gonna mess me up. Like, you know, the widest lens I have is a 24 millimeter, which is my, pretty much my uh, Zoom, my Sigma 24 to 70. So I'm just like, I can't do real estate with that. Like that's, that's not gonna be a good move. So I waited and waited and waited and the shoot was actually at two o'clock. So I waited till about 1.15 and I was just like, Dag, it's, it's, it's nothing I can do. I don't want to cancel last minute. That's not good. I'm going to have to show up with this 24 millimeter and let it do what it do. So I got there and I just pretty much did the job with what I had, the 24 millimeter. And here are a few of the pictures that I took and I think it turned out pretty well. So in this video, I want to just go over the best ways to get around not having a wide angle lens and how you can do real estate photography with a 24 millimeter lens. So on my way to the location, I tried to YouTube, you know, shooting real estate with a 24 millimeter and yada, yada, yada. And I came across this one video where the guy really 
that wasn't the core like message of his video. It wasn't just how to shoot real estate with a 24 millimeter, but he was talking about how you don't need a, as wide of an angle lens that you think you need. And now that I think about it, it was actually an article. It's an article that I read on Google. And um, the, one of the sentences stuck out to me, which really was like the baseline for what helped me get through the shoot. He said that it's all about like perspective and you know, uh, the, the camera angles and like the positioning of your camera, you know, the, the perspective of what you're trying to show. So if you look at the pictures in this video earlier that I, you know, put up on the screen that I took, I really had to like angle my camera in a way. And as you saw, like this was a furnished home, you know, it wasn't like a fresh, just nothing in there, which I think actually the home being furnished and occupied really helped me out because it helped me really line up, you know, the tripod and, you know, give more like a perspective, a side corner angle of like the bags. Like when I got into the bedroom, the master bedroom, as you saw, like I really was like, whoa, like the, the bed is the majority of the room. You know, I can't just go into the corner of the room and set the camera up and just have a wide angle. Like, you know, that's why I kind of like, you know, I had my tripod, put the camera like, down lower than I normally would and just like the perspective that I showed like the angles of the bed and even like the kitchen table and some of the other rooms I felt like you know that word perspective really helped me out so that is like pretty much the main tip of this video if you know if you find yourself in a similar situation where you're trying to shoot real estate photography with a lens that is like <laughs> not a wide angle lens like a 24 millimeter or a 20 or something like that like aim to show a certain perspective of you know your given scene or room you want to make sure that you, you know your, your angles are good you want to make sure that the leveling of your camera is good and that you had it set up in a way that is going to work against the fact that you don't have a wide angle lens and you know when I got there, like I said, I was more upset than anything that I didn't have the lens that I just paid $7.99 for and I'm going on this job. And that's the whole reason that I bought it. When I got there though, I really wasn't too worried because I said, you know what? In a way, I feel like just the whole situation made me a better photographer because like I had to look for certain things. I couldn't just be lazy and just set up the camera, crank the uh, lens to 17 millimeters and capture a whole scene. I had to really think, okay, what's the best angle what's the best positioning and like i said now that i think about it and i really look at my images and see just you know how they turned out it kind of reminds me of like looking at a magazine or just like a, a brochure like if you were to look at like a home for sale of or other pictures that i've seen i kind of feel like just having a wide angle lens is just depending on just the lens capturing everything and the way i was doing it up until this point I was kind of really amateur, you know, and I feel like the 24 millimeter lens really, I had to see things different. And like I said, it made me better in just finding a scene and just showcasing a scene a certain way with, you know, a lens that is really not wide angle at all. So as far as this Tamron 17 to 28, um, if you watched my review on the Sigma, I, I said some bad things about this lens. So I really feel like it came back to haunt me in a way and um i mean i opened the box i haven't clearly haven't opened this i really don't know <laughs> if i'm gonna keep it but then if i'm in the same situation again it's gonna be like you did it again so i may hang on to it you know with amazon you get 30 days to return it so i i don't know what i'm gonna do with this lens but um anyway i really hope you guys did enjoy this video and found some type of value in it like i stated in the video man if you find yourself on a shoot where you need a wide angle lens it might not even be a real estate shoot you know just think perspective and how the positioning of your camera you know can pretty much tell a story or showcase a certain you know look because you know perspective is everything and i really feel like i benefited from being in that little minor pinch and i you know i i, I feel like i came out better i really came out better so that's why i'm going to go ahead and end this video if you guys found this funny think i'm an idiot so my dad on my microphone just died. I just can't do anything right. But like I was saying, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video, found some type of value in it, or just laughed at my misfortunes. It's all good. 
if you could just go ahead and throw a like on this video. Give me that old thumbs up. I really appreciate it, man. The subscribers are going up, man. We almost had a thousand. 854, I believe. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel for more content. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, baby.